Okay, today we're going to take a look at 45, 45, 90 right triangles. Now up until now, to find any side length of any of the right triangles, we have used Pythagorean theorem. But what will happen now is we'll be missing two sides, and so Pythagorean theorem is a moot point and you won't be able to use it. So the relationship between a 45, 45, 90 right triangle is that the two legs are equal because they're opposite equal angles. So remember that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So each of these legs is the same, and the hypotenuse relationship to those legs is always the leg times radical 2, or the leg times the square root of 2. And that is how you get your values. So the hypotenuse rule is going to be the leg times radical 2. If we use that quick formula, we'll be able to find a hypotenuse given a leg or the legs given the hypotenuse. All right, so let's look at a few examples. Okay. We'll keep our rules over here for a minute until we get used to it. Okay, so we have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. The leg is y and the other leg is 20. And the hypotenuse, which is always opposite the right angle, is x. So the easiest one to find right now is the y value because you know that these two legs are equal. So y is equal to 20. Now to find x, we know that hypotenuse, which is our x value, equals to our leg times radical 2. So our hypotenuse is x. Our leg is 20 times radical 2. And that's our relationship. So we have the x value now and we have the y value. And you can leave them in radical form as long as they're in simplified radical form, which radical 2 is. Okay, let's look at our second problem down here. We have a leg here. Oh, and I didn't put that this was a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, but it is. So get those angles in there. All right, so y is the same as 7 root 2 because both legs are equal in a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. The hypotenuse is x, and as we said before, x is equal to the leg, which is 7 root 2, times root 2. All right, well, if you want to do this the long way, we keep our 7 outside that radical. Root 2 times root 2 is root 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so it becomes 7 times 2, so x is equal to 14. Now, another way to do it, you could have done it very quickly from here and gone right there is that any radical times itself is the radicand, which is the number underneath the radical. So 7 times 2 would give us the 14. So as you go through these, you'll get faster at simplifying um, the square roots also. Okay. All right, so we're going to take this down now, give us some more room. All right. Okay. All right, so we have this triangle here. We have M and N, which are our um, side lengths. And since it's a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, you can write that other 45 there if you'd like. We know that M equals to N. But we have the hypotenuse. So we also know the hypotenuse is equal to the leg times radical 2. So I'm just going to take one of the legs. It's M. I'll take that one. We know the hypotenuse is 18 radical 2. We know m is the leg, and if we times it by radical 2, we're going to get the hypotenuse. So we're just basically plugging into a simple rule. We're going to solve for m by dividing by radical 2. Do not put anything into decimal, okay? Just use the radical. Anything divided by itself is 1, so it goes away with left with m. 18 radical 2 divided by radical 2. Any, anything divided by itself is 1, so that gives us 18. So m is 18, which means n equals m, which is also 18. And you got your answer. All right, let's look at our next problem. OK, this one's a little trickier. OK, we have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. OK, so these two sides are equal. So we know, again, we have our hypotenuse. And that's going to equal to our leg. So I'm going to choose y this time. Why not? times, um, oops, that should be radical 3, sorry. So our, our hypotenuse equals to our y, radical 2. Okay, so now what we're going to do to solve for y is we're going to divide again by radical 2. That'll go away to 1, and so we get y equals. 
All right, y equals 14 root 3 over radical 2. You may not have radicals in the denominator. It's actually an illegal thing to do in math. So we're going to multiply this by the number 1, but it's going to be in the form of the radical in the denominator, and it's called rationalizing your denominator. So we're going to rationalize our denominator by multiplying by the number 1, using the radical that's in the denominator. So radical 2 over radical 2 is radical 1. It is square root of 1, which is 1, okay? And we're going to multiply across. So 14 root 3 times root 2 is 14 root 6. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4, which is just 2. Or thinking differently, any radical times itself is the radicand, which is the number underneath, comes out. That equals y. All right, now, 14 is outside the radical. 2 is outside the radical. So we're going to reduce those as we normally would. So we're going to get 7, but radical 6 stays. So our answer is 7 radical 6 for y. Since x is the same as y, x is also 7 radical 6. So I would write them kind of like this over on this side here. All right, next up, okay, another simple problem, not too bad. We have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Okay, I'm putting my 45 degree angles in. We know x and y are equal. We know that the hypotenuse is equal to the leg, so I'll just choose y this time, times radical 2. So we're going to divide by radical 2 on each side. So y is going to be equal to 10 root 2, over root 2, sorry, 10 over root 2. We're not allowed to have a radical in the denominator or a square root in the denominator. So we're going to multiply by the number 1 because we can't change this value. And we're going to do it using the radical in the denominator to help us so we can rationalize the denominator. So y equals 10 times root 2 is 10 root 2. Root 2 times itself is just 2. We'll reduce what's outside the radicals, which is 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And it's 5 root 2. And since x equals y, we'll then put that over here. So we make sure we answer x and y together. All right, and all this work would have to be shown so that we can see that you understand how to do your rationalizing. This one's going to take a little more room. Okay, So we've got a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. We've got v and u, and we've got this uh, 7 root 2 over 2. Well, v and 7 root 2 over 2 are equal. So v equals 7 root 2 over 2, and you can leave it like that. There's no need to make it 3 and a half root 2. It's not necessary. Okay? Fractions are fine. Now u is our hypotenuse. It's going to equal our leg, either u or v, um, either v or 7 root 2 over 2. So I'm going to just take this. u is our hypotenuse. It's going to equal one of our legs times root 2. Okay? So u, which is our hypotenuse, is going to be 7 times, now root 2 times root 2, that's, remember, that's in the numerator, is going to be 2 over 2. You have two choices here, depending on how you see it. You can cross out these 2's right away. They cancel out to a 1, and that's going to give us 7. Or you could have multiplied 7 times 2 is 14, and divide by 2 and still get 7. So in our case here, v our leg is 7 root 2 over 2, and u, our hypotenuse, is 7. All right, next up, we have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, so I'm going to put our angles in here. 4 root 2 and y are identical because the legs are equal, so we already know y. It's 
y is 4 root 2. To get x, which is our hypotenuse, we're going to take a leg, which is 4 root 2, and we're going to multiply by root 2. So x is equal to 4 times 2, and so x equals to 8. And we are done. We've got y, we've got x. And lastly, we have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So I'm just going to put my angles in here. X and Y are equal. The hypotenuse is 13 root 2 over 2. I know it looks a little scary, but we can work with it. Just follow the rule. Remember, our hypotenuse is our leg times root 2. Doesn't matter which leg you choose. But I already know my hypotenuse is 13 root 2 over 2. So I'm going to set that equal, I'm going to say x this time for my leg. It's the same as y. So x root 2. We're going to divide by root 2 on each side. This will cancel to 1, leaving us with x equals. And then we have a fraction divided by a number. So if you remember, keep, change, flip. We'll keep the 13 root 2 over 2. We will change division to multiplication. Remember this root 2 is over 1, and we'll flip it. So 1 over root 2. All right, you have a couple of choices here. Cross-canceling works beautifully. Okay, root 2 is in the numerator. Root 2 is in the denominator. That'll cross out to 1. And this will leave you with 13 over 2. Or you could have decided to multiply this all together, okay? So times 1 and times root 2. And so you'd get 13 root 2 in the numerator and 2 root 2 in your denominator. And again, your root 2s would cancel out to 1, leaving you still with x equals 13 over 2. So since x is the same as y, I'll just tag y on with this. They're equal to the same thing. And if you wanted to make that 6 and a half, that's fine, but fractions are fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with them as long as they're in reduced form. So following our rule of hypotenuse equals a leg times root 2 for 45, 45, 90 right triangles, you can solve any um, of these types of problems for any side, whether it's a leg or the hypotenuse itself.